A tragic shooting at ASU's Tempe campus yesterday has left a lot of questions. Police evacuated dozens of students from ASU's College of Design after a third year grad student committed suicide on campus. Classes were back in session today and the university is offering grief counseling to those who may need it. Meanwhile, many are now wondering if anything could have been done to prevent this from happening. Cronkite News reporter Desiree Dedeker is live at the Simon desk with more. Thanks, David. Now there are both warning signs and resources. Today I spoke with one expert here in the Valley who knows what to watch out for. Today, students, faculty and staff of the College of Design are struggling to cope with the suicide of the 59 year old graduate student, a struggle social worker Nikki Kuntz understands. I've been doing this for 15 years, so since I was in high school, 16 years now, um, since I was in high school when I lost a friend to suicide. Now, Kuntz is president of the Arizona Suicide Prevention Coalition. She also works for an organization called Teen Lifeline, a hotline that helps teens in need, where many of the calls she receives are from teens who are thinking about suicide. She says just one phone call can help save a life. What they're really looking for is someone just to listen to them, listen and talk to them about it and talk them through it. Helping prevent a tragedy is easier if you know what resources are available. On the Arizona Suicide Prevention Coalition website, the resources link will take you to a page of people and places you can reach out to if you or someone you know needs help. The most important thing is just to reach out for help. Um, someone that, to reach out to someone in their life that they might identify as being supportive and there for them and willing to listen. Kuhn says there are specific warning signs to watch out for, including talking about committing suicide, having trouble eating or sleeping, experiencing drastic changes in behavior, withdrawing from friends and social activities, losing interest in hobbies, work and school, taking unnecessary risks and losing interest in personal appearance. If you or someone you know is experiencing any of these symptoms, seek help immediately. Live in the newsroom, Desiree Dedeker, Cronkite News.